Yes, friends, so we are doing question number two. Question, in question number second, or in question number two, we are doing part three. Part third is part three or part third, or third part is part three or third part. What is the number of those numbers which are divisible by five? Out of those six digit numbers, there are 106 digit numbers undoubtedly. And out of those, the numbers which are having 0 on the unit place or 5 on the unit place, they will be divided by 5. Now, 0 on the unit place, that number we have already calculated in second part, which was equal to factorial 5 or is equal to 120. How factorial 5? Because if 0 is kept on the unit place, the remaining 5 places can be filled up in 5p5 base. Why? Or can be arranged in 5p5 base. Why? Because the remaining numbers are 5. 0 is excluded. 0 is put on the first unit place. I mean. On unit place. Now remaining 5 digits are there. Out of those 5 digits, the 5 places, for well, this is 6 digit number. So 5 places can be filled up in 5p5 base. Okay? This is the arrangement. So 5p5 means factorial 5 upon 5 minus 5 factorial in the denominator we have factorial 0 that means 1 so factorial 5 which we calculate in the second part because the those numbers which are having 0 in the unit place is 120 is factorial 5 which is 120 so this is the number of those numbers which are divided by 5 this is one part second part we have to find out that those numbers which are having 5 on the unit place that number is also there. So that number we have to find out. Now try to understand. Suppose I have kept 5 on the unit, unit place. Now remaining 5 digits are there. What are the 5 digits? 0 is also included there. Now suppose 0 is also included undoubtedly. So out of these 5 numbers, 5 numbers or 5 digits, the 5 places can be filled up in again 5p5 that means total 5 factorial 5 base or 120 base but here 0 can also come on the first place which is not possible because if 0 is kept on the first place then the number will be 5 digit number only we have found out 6 digit numbers but this will be 5 digit numbers so that 0 on the first place and 5 on the unit place are to be excluded. So how that can be excluded? Now first let me find out. Let's suppose 5 and the numbers which are which have 5 on them. This is first part is second as in the second part the numbers having 0 on the unit place is equal to factorial 5. This is 120 this is first part of this question. Second part is in the numbers which have 5 on the unit place is also 120. Let me just take suppose 5 is on the unit place so the remaining 5 places can be filled up in 5 p5 right but this 5 p5 is also including those numbers which 0 will be on the first place but that is not possible that is to be subtracted now let me find out that 5 if suppose 5 I have kept here on the unit place for this these numbers will be divided by 5 but this number will only we have to find out only those numbers which are 6 digit numbers now this number which having unit place as 5 or 5 on the unit place is 5p5 that means 120 but dear friend this 5p5 is not actually the actual number why well if suppose 5 is there but on this first place, 0 cannot be there. But here we have included 0 also. Those numbers which are having 0 on the first place and 5 on the unit place. And the remaining 4 places, 1, 2, 3, 4. For this first, first number and these remaining 4 digit. 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the 6th digit. 6th digit means unit place is having 5 and 0 is there on the first place the remaining 4 places out of 4 digits can be filled up in 4p 4 base that means factorial 4 so this factorial 4 numbers 
are having zero on the unit place, or on the first place, and five on the. So this is to be subtracted. So this number zero cannot be accepted in the first place. Then the digits will be five digits only. Cannot be six digits. So these numbers are included here. Included here when five is kept on the unit place. And zero is also included here. So these numbers, which are this five and four, we have to subtract from this. Minus twenty-four. Factor four means twenty-four. It is to be subtracted from one twenty. Okay, why one twenty? Now let me just clarify again. So one twenty minus twenty-four is equal to ninety-six. Ten minus four six and uh, zero means ninety. Right. Two minus uh, twelve minus thirty-nine. Ninety-six. Sorry. So these are the numbers. Which are having five in the unit place and six digit numbers are there. These five on the unit place zero and uh, and others numbers can be there, not zero. These are the numbers only which are having five on the unit place and out of those four digits, out of those five digits, unit place sorry this first place cannot be filled up by five by zero. Only other those four digits are left over. They can fill up the first place. And five on the unit place. So these are the ninety-six numbers, which are having five on the unit place, and others numbers can be on other five places, but zero cannot be on the first place. That has been excluded. These numbers twenty-four was those numbers which were having zero on the first place, five on the unit place, and others numbers or other places four were filled up in four p four ways. This four p four means twenty-four here. 24 is subtracted. So these 96 numbers are there, are those which are having five on the unit place, and other remaining numbers can be there. Okay, zero can be in between in these four places, but this first place cannot be filled up in by four, by zero. That has been excluded. So 96 plus 120, why 120? Because when zero is having zero is on the unit place. And zero is on the unit place. Then other five places can be filled out to those five numbers in five p five. That means one twenty base. So one twenty plus ninety six. This is the total number of those numbers which are divisible by five. This is very tricky question. Please try to understand. This one twenty is the number of those numbers which are having zero on the unit place. Now five on the unit place, okay, and then the six digit numbers are framed, and those six numbers formed are ninety six only. This ninety six numbers are those numbers which are having five on the unit place, and on the first place zero cannot be there. Other numbers can be there, but that zero numbers we have subtracted twenty four numbers were there, which were having five on the unit place and zero on the First place that has been subtracted because they are five-digit numbers. They are not six-digit numbers. Subtracted. So only ninety-six numbers are there, which are having five on the unit place, and other numbers also. So this is total number. How many numbers are there? They are divided by five. Six, nine plus two, eleven. One, two, one carry, and one two hundred sixteen. Two hundred sixteen. Out of those six-digit numbers, which were six hundred six-digit numbers, total numbers were six hundred. Out of that, two hundred and sixteen are divisible by five. Right? We can say so this twenty two hundred sixteen are divisible by. This is very tricky question. Please try to understand. Are divisible by five. This is very understandable. Ninety-six is the number of those numbers. Which are having five on the unit place, excluding zero on the first place. Others, those four numbers can be on the first place. Out of those four numbers, first place can be filled out of those four numbers. Right, not zero. And other places can be filled in zero also. I mean, zero can be placed in between, but not on the first place. Those numbers are this ninety-six five five on the unit place. And zero on the unit place. This number is total number. This is of those numbers which are of six-digit numbers, but having five on the unit place. 
and other four not zero on the first place with the 96 numbers only. So 216 are numbers are divided by 5. This is the second answer, sorry, third answer. What is the fourth answer? Fourth answer is that how many numbers are there which are not divided by 5? Now out of the 600 numbers, for 6 digit numbers we calculated in the beginning, there were 600, right? First part was 600, but the number of those which are having 6 digit number, 6 digit numbers were 600. Hence, the fourth part in numbers not divided by 5. The numbers or 6 digit numbers, we can say the 6 digit numbers, let me write complete. The 6 digit numbers not divisible by 5, not divisible by. 5 is equal to 600 put of 6 digit numbers minus this 216 because they are divided by 5 is equal to how much? 10 minus 4 uh, 6 4 1 carry 2 0 uh, 10 minus 2 8 1 carry 3 384 right so 384 is the number of those numbers which are not divisible by 5 216 are divided by 5. 600 are total digit, 6 digit numbers. Right? Because 0 cannot be on the first place that we subtracted, 120 were subtracted. Out of this 726 factorial 6 minus factorial 5, this number was total 6 digit numbers. And they were including number divided by 5, not divisible by 5. And this number 216 is the number of those numbers which are divisible by 5. Which we just calculated here. This is very tricky part. This is third part. I've taken this is third part. They are here it is given as second part. How many of them are divided by five? How many of them is six digit numbers? Okay. This is 260. Okay, so this is the fourth part answer. 384, 600 minus 216 is the number of those numbers which are not divided by five. Okay, so this is 384. Let me take now next question. Now question number three. Very important. This question was very important. It has I think come in one of the computer examinations and the students are telling me that this is very important question. They could not understand, but this is very tricky question. We have to just find out those numbers which are divided by five. Right? Divided by five means zero and five can be on the unit place. But 0 cannot be on the first place. So then the numbers will be 5 digit numbers only. Right? So if I put 5 on the unit place, then the, out of those remaining 5 digits, the first place can only be filled up by 0. But other numbers can be there out of those 4. The first place can be filled up. Then the remaining 4 places can have the 0. So that number which were having 0 on the first place and 6, 5 on the unit place, that we subtracted that was 24 numbers only. The 24 was subtracted from 120. That were 96 numbers were there. They were divided by 5. Or they were having 5 on the unit place. Right? That were the numbers. Now, question number 3. What is given to us here? Very important question again. Okay? Now, question number 3 says find the total number of 9 digit numbers which have all different digits. We are given here, we are, we have, or we are given, we have, now 10 digits are there, because 0 including 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9, the other total numbers, and they say, on a total number of 9 digit numbers, which have all different digits, for it, we have 10 digits, we have 10 digits okay we have 10 digits that is or we can say what are those numbers that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 here are the total numbers right including 0 with the help of these numbers only we frame number of 
all those counting numbers are friend. All the numbers are friend with the help of these 10 digits only. Right? Now come to the point. Now it says that we have to find out 9 digits number. Find here. What we have to find out? It says to find the 9 digit numbers. Find the total number of 9 digit numbers which, are, which have all different digits. Important point. To find 9 digit numbers. All 9, sorry, 9. I'm sorry. All nine digit, all nine digit, nine digit numbers, all nine digit numbers, which have different digits also means not repeated. And the total number of nine digit numbers, all nine digit numbers we have to find out which have. Which have all different this means not repeated, which have all different digits, which have all different digits. Now try to understand this solution. Now if I take that out of these ten digit numbers, right? The first place the nine digit number, the nine digit numbers, the nine digit numbers, okay, out of, out of ten digits, including zero here, try to understand, out of, out of ten digits, can be formed as 10p9. Nine places can be filled up out of 10 in 10p9. 10p9 nine, nine, means factorial 10. But my dear friend, this 10p9, if I say the 10p9, or we can say that the first place can be filled up in simple question can be done easily but I'm just going to solve it with the help of both formally as well as understanding what is the understand that first place right first place means out of those nine digit numbers first place can be filled up in nine ways only why zero cannot be here so this first place can be filled up in nine ways Okay, 10p9 minus, I'm just going to do this 9, now remaining 9, 9p8. It's a 9p8. By 9p8, now 8 places, this first place can be filled up out of those 10 digits in 10p9 ways. This is proper way. 10p, but in this case, out of 10 digits, 0 is also there. But zero cannot be on the unit place that I'll do in the in the different way. But this is the proper way. Suppose the first place can be filled up in 10 p 9 ways. Now the remaining eight digits or eight places can be filled up out of those nine digits because one is taken on the first place, on the first place here. Then remaining Eight places can be filled up out of those nine digits, including zero in this case. In this case, zero is also there. This nine p nine nine p eight. This nine p eight arrangement. Why? Because those eight places now first place is filled up out of ten numbers in ten p nine ways. But in this case, this we have to subtract here. Why? Because this nine p eight. 9p8 here, this means factorial 10, it is factorial 10 minus factorial 9. Try to understand. First, let me solve this. So, this is the first place, but in this case, why this we have subtracted <coughs> this 9p8 because the remaining 8 digits are filled up in 9p8 way, but this first place cannot be filled by 0 
right? So this is the difference here. What is the total number? If I take 10 here, so sorry, this 10, this 10 into factorial 9, factorial 10 means minus factorial 9. This is equal to factorial 9. If I take common, 10 minus 1, that means 9 into factorial 9. So this is the answer here. 9 into factorial 9, whatever factorial 9 comes out to be that we multiply this. Okay. This is the proper number. Let me now solve here. Factorial 9 into 9. So this I'll take just somewhere here because the first place first place can be filled up only in 9 base, not 0 is excluded. So first place out of those 10 digits only can be filled up in 9 base only 0 cannot come on the first place. Right? First place is filled up in 9 base. Now the remaining 9 digits are there because 0 is also there. Out of those 9 digits, 8 places can be filled up in 9p 8 base. 9 into 9p 8. That can also be the answer. Okay, so 9p 8 means factorial 9. Factorial 9 upon in the division in the denominator we have factorial 9 minus 8 that is factorial 1 which is 1 so factorial 9 so 9 into factorial 9 this is the direct answer okay so 9 into factorial 9 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial into factorial 6 let me write okay what factorial 6 is we know about what is factorial 6 7 20 9 and 81, this is 81 into 8756 into 720. This total number of 9 digit number is there. Okay. This is, let me multiply them again. This is uh, 81 into 56. So multiply 6 from the 6. Then 6 is the, 6 is the 48, 5 into 5. 48 and 553, this is 3, 5 here, 8 has the 40 and 545. Right, 8 has the 40 and 545. So 4536 into 720. Let me write here. This is 4530 into 720. Now we have to multiply 72 into 453. Let me solve it here. So this is 453 into 72. 20 will be put in the end, no problem. This will give us this answer. So 0, 0, these two zeros are or multiplied by 100. So 0 and this 0, that can be kept in the end. So 0, 0, but there. Now 3, 2 is 6. Now 2, 5 is 10, 7, 3 is 21. 21 and 10, 31, 1, 3 carry, now 2, 4 is 8, 3, 0, 0, and 5, 7 is 35, and 4, 2 is 8, 35 and 8, 43, 43 and 3, 46, 6, 4 carry, this is 4 carry, we have multiplied these 3, now 2, 7, 4 is 28, 28 and 4, 32, only 32 will be there, for this, uh, add 4, 7, 28 and 4, because 5 and 0, 0, and again 4, 0, 0, so only 4 plus 28, 32, this is the answer here, so 32, and so final answer is this, 32, 6, 1, 6, 0, 0, right, this is the answer, hence the number of uh, 9 digit numbers, 0 cannot be there, Hence the number of hence the number of nine digit numbers. Number of nine digit numbers is equal to thirty this is uh, thirty two lakhs sixty one thousand six hundred yeah. 326100. Okay, this is the answer. This is how we, have, we can calculate. Simply we can just say that first place 
can be filled up this not out of those nine digits places or nine places first place can be filled in nine ways only zero cannot be there okay the remaining eight places can be filled out of those nine digits because one digit is occupied on the first place on the from the left hand side first place ninth place i mean the first place in nine ways so nine into the remaining eight places can be filled out of nine nine digits uh, eight places are to be filled up in nine p eight ways nine p eight is factorial nine factorial nine into nine this is the answer here okay and leave this down so complete question number three completed okay so these are distinct i'm not repeated numbers but distinct numbers here question number three we have completed now first let me clean this question number three and for the number of nine digit numbers which have all different digits so that we have done now question number four is also very very important let me just tell you about yes now question number four let me first read it and then write here what is given to us what is given to us first let me read it question number four says that how many different arrangements arrangements can be made using all the letters of the word mathematics this is the first point so we have the word mathematics we have the word we have the word mathematics m a t i c s we have the word mathematics m a t h e m a t i c s mathematics okay how many different arrangements can be made using all the letters of the word mathematics this is the first part we can say like this okay okay so this is the we have this number so first part to find here there are again number of parts here first is how many first part is that how many yeah how many different arrangements how many different arrangements how many different arrangements of letters how many different arrangements can be made can be made using using all the letters all the letters of the word of the above word of the above word mathematics have a word mathematics m a t h e m a t i c s mathematics this is the first part second part is that how many of them begin with c begin with c second part is how many of them begin with c this is the first part right we have taken a b c no problem let me take this is a here this is b here c says and how many of them with t okay only b includes and b includes and how many of them how many of them with t means it started with p how many of them uh, uh birds can be formed by taking okay how many of them with t with t means 